So I uh, drove like hour, hour 45, two hours, and I'm down in like uh, Forestall, um, Missouri, and they had a huge rainstorm, and it's really uh, flooded as you can see all the gravel's been pushed into the road, and uh, yeah. So the reason I drove down here was another Craigslist score. And look at that beautiful, perfect ATC 70. Uh, didn't get to hear it run. It needs a carb or cleaned or a carb kits. So we'll find out what the story is. It still has the original uh, Otsu tires on it. So uh, I'm going to start paying attention to this crazy curved road. I'm in the depths of Missouri here. Yeah, and that's where it's flooding through over here. Yeah. And uh, I'll get home and I'll get you some uh, proper video of uh, this thing. So let's do it. Let's get home. Okay, it's the next day. I'm home. I just got busy at work and this morning and blah, blah, blah. So, um, yeah, got home with it. The guy was super, super nice, super cool. Was building some really cool cars. Um, so, yeah. Um, dude, it's perfect. It's barn find, fresh. Uh, I mean, here's the biggest thing to me about it. Uh, boom. So, those are, I believe, the stock tires to it. They're not dry rotted. Uh, looks like he does have a tube in it, but, um, I mean, look at it. I mean, the galvanizing on all this stuff is correct. You know, uh, same on the axle. I'll just shut up. Just check it out and check out how nice this thing is. He said uh, he creamed the tank. I've got to clean the carb. I have not heard it run. Compression seems very nice. Um, front fender does have a little crack in it. Um, she is an 85, made for 84. I do have a little curb checked rim there. Yeah, right there. Little crack in it. He didn't know about it until we went to move it and the fender rubbed on the tire a little bit. But, uh, I mean, it's it's really clean. I mean, I don't think it ever, 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 ever set outside. So. But yeah, there she is. So. And this was cheaper than fixing the one that I have. I mean, I'll still fix that one. Um, but, I mean, if you know how much a gas tank... I'm missing a gas tank on the other one. And a good gas tank's, you know, 150 plus. Um, and that's if it's acceptable. I mean, you're still going to have to cream it. Uh, yeah, he said he creamed this tank. So... Not a lot to see in there, but uh, yeah. So I'll get her out of the truck and get her in the shop and see what's up with the uh, with it with a carb and see if I can salvage it. It'd be nice to keep the original in it instead of putting a china carb on it. So we'll see what I can do. So. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'm sure you'll see some more video of it running.